Pets are one of the few joys in life and saying goodbye to them is one of the most heartbreaking moments pet owners go through. Anyone who has a pet understands the special bonds that we have with them. But what if I told you there was a way to get a second life with them? Would you do it? I'm sure the answer here for pretty much everyone is a solid yes. What if I told you you can use your pet's DNA to create a clone of your pet with pretty much 100% the same genetics as your beloved pet. Like the second coming of Jesus, but with your dog, kinda. Now it's important to mention as well that even though the pet will be 100% genetically identical, it does not mean their personality will be the same. Behaviors can be influenced by environment and socialization. So there's no guarantee that if you do clone the pet, it will act in any way the same as the original. For one, the surrogates undergo multiple repeated hormone treatments and surgeries. Surrogates are forced into multiple pregnancies, which I'm sure you can imagine is not a fun time for them. Any sort of complications during pregnancy, of course, creates a lot of pain and suffering for the surrogate. The perfect clone that you might have came at the cost of many failed lives. The clones also don't have the exact same memories or experiences. It also affects millions of unadopted pets that won't be rescued because more and more people are cloning their pets than they are adopting. I have a picture of my dog that passed away a few years ago, you can see here, and she's always in the video watching over me. The grief I have felt at her passing was immense. It took me a long time to actually get through it, and I never thought I actually could. However, to me personally, she was one of a kind, and no clone could ever replace her, so I would never clone her. But if I came across this service when the grief was almost unbearable, I could easily have been emotionally manipulated by a company like Synergen to spend my hard-earned money to get back a version of my dog that essentially isn't her. 